Testing Gear remains the Navy's choice for its next generation recovery system. Welcome to this 2016 year in review edition of Airwaves, a Michael Lauren crew. We begin with big news for Naval Aviation. The Navy plans to move ahead with installation of advanced arresting gear on future Ford class ships, including the John F. Kennedy and USS Enterprise. The decision came after rounds of successful testing on the AAG system at its land-based test site in Lakehurst, New Jersey, and aboard pre-commissioning unit Gerald R. Ford. By year's end, the program had completed more than 1,400 dead load arrestments and 351 test arrestments of the Super Hornet, the first aircraft type model series to undergo test on the system. The AAG team will continue multi-site test operations throughout 2017. For naval pilots hoping for a safer and less stressful way to land on a carrier at sea, your wish is granted. Magic Carpet is officially in the hands of the fleet. Maritime augmented guidance with integrated controls for carrier approach and recovery precision enabling technologies, or Magic Carpet, is a revolutionary improvement in aircraft carrier landings. It was delivered to Carrier Air Wing 11 in November, making its move from test to operational use. The highly augmented control system will ease pilot workload and make carrier landings more repeatable, which will improve safety, efficiency, and success rates in recovering fixed-wing aircraft aboard ship. The flight control algorithms for Magic Carpet were developed by Naval Air Systems Command and the Office of Naval Research. The F-35 program gave us a powerful look at the future of carrier operations at sea. The Marine Corps conducted a proof-of-concept demonstration on board USS America in November. This was the first time 12 F-35B Lightning II aircraft integrated into shipboard operations. Prior to this demo, the most F-35Bs on a ship at one time was six. During the Lightning Carrier proof-of-concept demo, the ship's crew moved the Stovall aircraft around the deck to establish a suitable tempo of operations. It was an exciting end to the third and final at-sea developmental test phase for the Marine Corps variant. Now we have a stealth capability of a relatively moderately sized ship, you know, less than 50,000 tons, that can be anywhere in the world, which means there's nowhere in the world that an enemy can hide. If we have the ability to send an amphibious ship there with F-35, then we can prosecute targets. In August, the F-35C Lightning II carrier variant completed its third and final at-sea developmental test aboard USS George Washington. The goal was to test the aircraft's carrier suitability in adverse sea conditions. Naval aircraft undergo three developmental test phases at sea ahead of their scheduled initial operating capability. The V-22 Osprey is another step closer to assuming its future role in the carrier air wing. The Navy conducted a fleet battle experiment aboard the Carl Vinson to evaluate how the tilt rotor plane would perform as a carrier onboard delivery aircraft. Set to replace the Navy's C-2A Greyhound, the V-22 can land and take off vertically on the flight deck, eliminating the need to arrest and recover the COD aircraft. Its ability to operate like a helicopter on and off the ship will enable faster cargo deliveries and reduce the manpower burden for the ship. The Navy is developing its own version of the Osprey, the CMV-22 Bravo, with an extended range fuel tank and long range communications. It is set to procure the first of its V-22s in fiscal year 2018 with initial operational capability scheduled for FY21.